Flying across select parts of the western United States and Canada is an intriguing bird species known for the loud noises they make and their unique color pattern, the Clark's Nutcracker. These J-sized corvids have black wings lined with white on the bottom, in addition to black tail feathers also lined with white. These light outlining feathers can make the silhouette of a flying Clark's Nutcracker look quite beautiful. Clark's Nutcrackers have dagger-like bills that they use to pull seeds from pine cones, which they store for the winter. In order to do this, they have a unique adaptation, a pouch under their tongue that allows them to carry seeds long distances. Each Clark's Nutcracker may cache thousands of seeds in the summer, and studies suggest they actually remember where most of them are stored. The caching of these seeds also helps to grow new pine forests, which makes the Clark's Nutcracker an important species in the habitats where they live. They will also test a seed by quickly opening and closing their bill on top of it, known as bill clicking. If you live in an area with Clark's Nutcrackers, they may also show up at your feeder if you put out peanuts or suet. If a Clark's is in the area, listening for their call and looking high up in the treetops is one of the best ways to locate them. They will also often be in small groups, so if you see one, keep an eye out for more. Clark's nutcrackers move into higher elevation areas in the summer, and then move back down to lower elevations in the fall. Due to the extreme caches they build up, they may actually breed as early as January. Males and females incubate the eggs and nests are normally made in the forks of conifer branches. There is normally only one brood per year, with about two to six eggs per nest. Clark's nutcrackers are monogamous, and may stay with the same mate for multiple years. The Clark's nutcracker was first described by Alexander Wilson, and named after Captain William Clark, who originally thought the species was a type of woodpecker. Meriwether Lewis gave a description of the bird, correcting what Clark originally thought and noting the bird as a corvid. He also gave this description of the bird, saying, It has a loud squalling note, something like the mewing of a cat. The beak of this bird is one and a half inches long, is proportionably large, black and of the form which characterizes this genus. The upper exceeds the under chap a little, chap meaning mandible, the head and neck were also proportionably large. The eye full and rather prominent, the iris dark brown and purple black. It is about the size and somewhat the form of the jaybird though, rather rounder or more full in the body. The tail is four and a half inches in length, composed of 12 feathers nearly the same length. The head, neck, and body of this bird are of a dove color. The wings are black except the extremities of six large feathers occupying the middle joint of the wing which are white. Clark's nutcracker populations are thought to have declined between 1966 and 2015, but they are still considered a species of low conservation concern. They can live to be over 17 years old. In my experiences seeing these birds, they seem as though they can be quite easy to see or very elusive, depending on your location. Sometimes they will only provide a brief glimpse from above as they fly over, but in other locations they'll come right up to you and seem used to people. They appear quite intelligent and social, and it's fun to watch them communicate with each other. Have you ever seen a Clark's Nutcracker before? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching! We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.